Okay, I have been seriously, seriously trying to figure out which Black Sabbath song is the heaviest. So, maybe as some of you know, I am a humongous Black Sabbath fan. Black Sabbath is the band that informed so much of my playing style. Tony Iommi was, is to me like a famous Renaissance painter. He is one of the seminal craftsmen of the riff probably the seminal the number one the goat tony mr iomi mr tony iomi of black sabbath uh it was just a priceless innovation when it comes to heavy metal groove riff and not to mention he was a phenomenal lead player and I think he just carried that band. He carried Black Sabbath like no front man has ever carried a band. And he wasn't even a front man. But he was like a front man. So, I have been super into Black Sabbath lately. I don't know what happened. Something just snapped in my brain. And I was like, I really need to revisit their discography. And so I have been listening this weekend nonstop to Black Sabbath and also recently I was like a couple weeks ago I was listening to their album 13 man the last album that they did 13 with Ozzy Osbourne reunited with him is such an incredible album but regardless I started a slew of questions came to my head I was like first does Black Sabbath have a bad album yes they have one bad album I'm not gonna say what it is but, you know, you probably already know if you, if you know the band Deep Purple. So, they do have one bad album. But, on that album, I was also thinking, is one of their heaviest songs. And that song is with Mr. Glenn... What's that? His, what's his name? Ian... 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 Gillen. Ian Gillen. Mr. Ian Gillen of Deep Purple, and that song is Zero the Hero, and I was like, okay, if I'm gonna come up with the top five, first of all, Zero the Hero is gonna be in the top five, and I also started thinking, can anything on the Heaven and Hell album be considered heavy? Because I don't think, I don't think anything on that album is particularly heavy. It's like, it is heavy, yes, but it's more just riffy. I mean, Lonely is the World, extremely heavy, uh, but but it's like it's like also just kind of dark. But I was thinking, what makes a heavy song? So it's a common it's gonna be a combination of the tone, the riff, the lyrics. So Zero the Hero definitely. I wouldn't say anything on Heaven and Hell. There's like a brightness to that album, strangely like a production brightness or something and like a hopefulness i mean it's just kind of comes with the territory of having ronnie james dio writing the lyrics if you think about it there's always this silver lining in in a lot of his messages um with the exclusion of if you really want to consider the heaven and hell band album the devil you know which is literally a masterpiece arguably in my opinion one of if not the best Black Sabbath album. Okay, honestly, I'm a diehard Heaven and Hell fan. Heaven and Hell is my ultimate album, my favorite album of all time. But the band Heaven and Hell, I do consider Black Sabbath. There's no way that I'm going to say, oh, there's Black Sabbath and then there's Heaven and Hell. But if I were to say that, I think I kind of, it kind of would make sense because in a way, Heaven and Hell is like Black Sabbath leveled up. It's like, the songs on that album are so heavy, they're so big and heavy, that it's almost like they're not even a Black Sabbath album anymore. It's literally, it literally needed to become a different band under a different name, and it's like they had to, like, separate it from the rest of their discography because it stands out too much. It's so good. But... There's another song on the album The Devil You Know by Heaven and Hell, aka Black Sabbath, with Ronnie James Dio, um, 
called Follow the Tears. And I was like thinking to myself, I haven't listened to this song in a long time, but just when you think Black Sabbath can't get any heavier, that song. So Follow the Tears is definitely in the top five. So far we've got Follow the Tears and Zero the Hero. This is gonna be fairly easy. The next song that I was thinking has to be on the list, first of all, very few things from the early Aussie discography I think will make this list. But, I mean, and it's solely because the, the songs are, are kind of like, like, they're, they're like, they're just not as, well, they're serious, but there's something, there's like a, a playfulness. There's like, it's immaturity to the production, and which only makes sense because the band is so young at that time, at that point. But I was thinking the song Symptom of the Universe is definitely a very, very heavy song. It literally sounds like grating bricks. It is such a growling, gritty song. And like, it's like he played that song with, with like sand, a pick of made of sandpaper or something. Like it's, it's a real heavy song. So Symptom of the Universe definitely is gonna go on the list. So now we've got three. We need two more. So the next song that I was thinking is another Dio era song from the album Dehumanizer, which I think, honestly, everything that happened when Dio joined the band, right around the mob rules, was like, oh my god, the Black Sabbath got so much heavier after Ozzy. Ozzy brought this quirkiness to Black Sabbath, but Ronnie, I think, brought out the, like, the more serious, the more serious side of the band, or something. Um, so I think that there's a song from Dehumanizer called I, and I think that riff is just so, like, it's like a slasher film or something. It's like, it's like the drums and the riff. It's like so singular. It like makes so much sense that that song is called I. So I think I is probably one of the songs in the top five. So I've got five songs right now. I need one more. Um, I was thinking it's not going to be like something like Iron Man or Paranoid or Into the Void. I mean, Into the Void could be a unique choice, but I think that Into the Void is like, it's almost too, too simplistic or something. It's like too, too something about it, it's not quite there. Um, and then I was thinking, you know what a really, really heavy song is? Probably the ultimate heavy Black Sabbath song, if you really think about it, in terms of how jamming, complex, sinister, and, like, message-oriented it is, War Pigs. So there we have it. The top five heaviest Black Sabbath songs. At number five, I'm going to say I. Four is going to be War Pigs. Three is going to be probably Zero the Hero. Two is going to be, uh, what was that song? What was the other song? Okay, well, follow the tears and the other one. But anyway, bye guys! <laughs>